Hey guys, the objective of this video is to introduce the theory of sets. Okay, so let's start off with the definition of set, of what a set is. Okay, so a set is a collection of objects. So for example, you could have a set of numbers. So one, two, three, four, and five, and you can call this entire thing a set. Or you can call, you can have a, uh, sorry, a set of letters. Okay, A, B, C, and D, and E. And you can, call, you can also call this a set. Or you could have a mixture, okay, of numbers and letters. And you can also call this a set, okay? So first thing you want to start off with some with some notations, okay? So if so the union of A and B, which we denote as A U B, okay, is a set of all things that are members of either A or B. So that's what union of A and B means. So this here represents this notation here means union of A and B. So let's look at an example. So let's say I have two sets. So set A being 1A, B, 3, 5, and set B being 2A, D, 3E, okay? So A union B is basically members of either A or B, okay? So to so look at members in A, okay, that basically is A, so 1A, B, 3, 5, 1A, B, 3, 5, okay? And then also writing down the members in B too, okay? Because it's either A or B, okay? So we're looking at sets, uh, the, sorry, the member in set B. So that's 2DE, okay? There's no need to write down um, A and 3 because A and 3 is already in set A, okay? So no need to repeat them. So basically AUB is equal to this set here, okay? Which are members in either A and either B. So we write down members in both sets, okay? So the intersection of A and B Okay, it's denoted by this notation here, okay, A, B here. is a set of objects that are members of both A and B, okay? So it needs to be common. So what I mean by that is, let's say going back to our example of set A being this and set B being this, okay? So set A in, in the section B, so that basically is looking at members that are common between the set A and set B. So the things that, the members that are common are only A and 3 because A is in set A, A is also in set B, 3 is also in set A, and 3 is also in set B. And those are the only two members that are common between set A and set B. So therefore, A in the section B, right, which are members of both A and B, is A and 3. Okay, so this is our set for intersection of A and B. Okay, so let's go through another definition, sorry, sorry, another notation, which is called the complement of A. So complement A, which is denoted by A, C, is a set of objects that are not in A. So let's go for an example. So again, going back to our example of set A and set B, AC is basically the op the the, uh, the objects that are not in A. So it can't. So we know that AC cannot be one A B three and five. Okay, so it cannot be these members because it because it has to be a set of objects that are not in A. Okay, so they are not in A. So therefore, it's 2 D and E. So the reason why uh, we didn't copy the entire set of B is because we have common objects of B and A, which are A, which are A and 3. Okay. So we so the complement of A cannot be A and 3 because that's also in A2 set A2. Okay. So A complement is equal to 2 D E, which are objects that are not in A. Okay. So this is 2 D E. So next we'll go to omega. Okay. So the notation omega basically means the largest set possible. So let's say I start off with a really big set, okay, one five three two three five six four. So we call this set Z, okay. So this is a really big big set that we have uh, came up with at the beginning, okay. And so let's say I, I've separate this set into two classes, okay, or two mini sets, okay, of one five three six, okay, and also second mini set being uh, B called B five three two five, okay. So the largest set possible that you can think of. So basically, omega is the largest set that you can think of in this set that we have begin with. So the largest set that we can be, that we can think of is basically the entire set, basically. So that's the largest set, right? So that's basically what it is. Okay. So omega is equal to one five three two three five six four. So normally the omega is equal to the entire set, set z. Okay. So remember the omega is never equal to the subsets, okay, or the mini sets a and b, okay, or any of the small sets that you can think of in this set z. Okay, it's the largest set that you can think of in Z in set Z, Z. Okay, the big set that we come up with at the beginning. And so the last one here. Okay, so this basically this notation here is basically the empty set. Okay, so if I say set A is equal to the empty set, that means A is empty set, 
and that A is equal to nothing, okay? A is a set of nothingness, okay? So there's nothing in A, okay? That's what it means, okay? Okay? So if, again, if I, if, we say, if I say that A is equal to this, that means that there is nothing in set A, okay? So that's, that's what we denote, denote it as, there's nothing in set A, okay? There are no members in set A, okay? 